being able to wipe off my mistakes is a good thing. And I make a lot of mistakes, especially when I try to paint outdoors. In this video, I'll show you how I made mistakes with these Neo Color 2, which are water soluble, and these Neo Color 1s, which are not. So I start this painting in my truck in front of this beautiful mountain. And I'm going to start things off with these water soluble pastels, the Neo Color 2s. This allows me to block in the big shapes like the white mountains, the sky, those trees in the foreground and the middle ground. I'll be honest, I really struggled with this painting. Some paintings are like that. But it's good to be out in the sunshine and I'm just going to let myself have some fun and experiment and see what might happen. Now that the basic composition is there, I'm going to use the non-water soluble Neo Color 1 pastels on the trees in the distance to see if I can create a little bit of texture. It works okay. I'm just sort of staying loose and impressionistic because I'm just experimenting. You'll see a bit later that when I use water over these marks, they won't blend away. One way to blend these does is to use some sort of blending stump. I'm doing that with this blue in the sky. So I truly feel like a beginner with these pastels, and I'm a beginner with this video stuff, so I appreciate the kind comments and subscribers that I've gotten. It's been fun to read your comments. I feel like we're learning all this together, right? So here I wanted to get a darker value with these trees, but I seriously regret using this bright of a green. But you can see the texture of the non-soluble pastels stays intact. In fact, it's acts a little bit like a resist. I don't actually like how this painting is turning out and I'm not sure if I can salvage it. But some paintings are like that and we're seeing how these pastels work and don't work. Like I said at the beginning, I made a bunch of mistakes on this one. You can have the best materials ever and still have a poor painting. But practice is practice and I'm going to practice more on this at home. It took me a few days to get back to this, but when I first started, I wanted to try to blend out that green into the foreground trees. I worked on it for a while and then decided I should just wipe it all off. That's a really cool thing about water-soluble mediums. You can wet it and get rid of it. For the areas that are not water-soluble, I can use an eraser. Here I decided I wanted to carve out those mountains a little bit better and put in some of more of the snow lines. I kind of like the composition a little bit better, so that's nice that I could do that. But I still wasn't feeling inspired to finish this up at home, so I decided to go back up to the same spot and work on it a little bit more, even though it was a few weeks later. That's one thing I like about this medium and this hobby is you can put it away and pick it up later and work on it again. There's no hurry in art. At least not for me. Art is a great hobby. And it's fun to experiment with new things like these Neo Pastels. And I really like sitting out in nature and painting what I see. Even if I make a bunch of mistakes. I couldn't quite get these foreground tree branches to work. They tried all kinds of things. The white Neo Color Pastel is semi-opaque, so it, it did show up a bit but I tried to lighten it and then darken it with some darker pastel. I think I was in too much of a hurry to do this, but I'm showing you how these work and it's kind of a fun experiment, like I say. Going back and forth between the water-soluble pastels and the non-water-soluble pastels gives some interesting effects. It's not always the effects I want, but you can kind of see what happens when I try both approaches. All in all, these Neo Colors are, have been really fun to use, and I recommend them if you enjoy just playing with color. I'll uh, link to another video that I did where I used these Neo Colors on a different surface, which was clayboard. That worked much differently. So regardless of surface or whether you're using the Neo Color 1s or Neo Color 2s, everything behaves differently. So experiment. In fact, in this scene, you can see how the water on the Neo Pastel 1 just beat it up on the sky. It wasn't water soluble. So 
it really does work differently um, for each type. I think Mother Nature is a much better artist than I am. And it's been really nice to come out and try to paint this scene. If you like this kind of video, give it a like or leave a comment and let me know. Otherwise, check out this video of my other experience with Neocolor pastels. Thanks for watching.